This is a quick movie just showing you how to download and install the photometrics cameras and support them inside the NIS Elements software. The first thing we do should be install Elements, which I've already done. And the next thing I'm going to do is just go to the photometrics website, go to support, software downloads, and open up this page. And I'm going to want to download and install either the PVCAM 32 or 64 bit setups. What they're going to do is they're going to install all of the drivers and a couple of quick little pieces of test software. Um, we'll just find those for you now because they are very, very useful to make sure the camera is working. So if I just come here to PV Cam, a couple of them exist. The first one is RS Config. This tells me where I actually have a camera installed. And it says here I have a USB camera. If not, it would say 1394 for a firewire. It would show you actually uh, the name of a camera for one of the classical LVDS cameras. The other tool I'm going to get that's in the same folder is actually, and again, PVCAM, is PVCAM test. And this is going to tell us not only if it's installed, but if I start, that's actually just going to show me a bias image running live. So I've definitely got a camera connected. Uh, there's no light going to the sensor, so this is what I've got. So let's just stop that and done. They're the two very, very useful things to do before we run any camera in any software. So the camera's in and working. Now we want to actually make sure we have the drivers for elements. So if we've not done this at installation, what we should probably do is actually just go through and modify the installation. And I'll just show you very simply how we do this. So modify, and we would just go through, and we just select photometrics, evolve, quanti aim, cool snap, etc. And that's going to make sure that the cameras are showing inside your version of software. OK, so we just want to cancel that. And what we'll do now is we'll just load the software up. OK. And as I load the software, it comes up and says, do I want the photometrics camera? Yep, I do. And that's loading. OK, the first thing we have now, we have the software open. Um, we can go straight up here and go to live. And obviously, I've got no light actually going to my sample at the moment. But a few things to note here. First of all, I'm a big fan of looking and clipping the histogram range. And to do that, I'm just going to click in this gray area. I'm going to go Visualization Control, LUTs, and this gives me the lookup table, and I can just turn on Auto Scaling, and now you can see the bias. When we look up here, we see that the camera is set up normally, and it actually defaults for the first installation to binning 2x2 two two with photometrics cameras. So we're just going to go to No Binning. Okay. You'll also see that you have this function here, where you have an exposure time of one frame. That's setting up the camera so it can go as fast as possible. But we can obviously select 100 milliseconds, 200 milliseconds, and so on. And other than that, we have gain mid. That's the normal gain setting that we're going to use. And the readout speed. And the fastest readout speed from this camera is 20 megahertz. Down at the bottom, we actually get the frames per second here of the full image. So we're running at about 6 frames a second. But we have a lot of pixels coming out from this camera. This camera is the CoolSnap Maya camera, which has a lot of very small pixels, which is ideal for low light imaging, uh, particularly when we want to do it at low magnifications. Let's just pop it on and open up the shutter. And now we can see we have a lovely image. And it doesn't really want to ma matter what we're doing, we're actually going to auto scale around that. But let's just get that. One of the beautiful things here is really the level of uh, detail we get with these cameras because of the small pixel size and because of the low noise. OK, I hope that helps. If you have any other questions, please contact your local Nikon sales agency or Photometric Sales Office. Thanks.